Hey guys, I hope that everybody is having a wonderful day and welcome back to EU4. We are doing all right. We're doing okay. Uh, we definitely could be in a better position when it comes to this stuff. I think it is in my best interest to demand that he return these provinces. It's going to give me that, but uh, it's okay. What we need to do is we need to attack him and uh, my vassals obviously will handle most of it. But uh, Imperial Liberation, I can also have him... Hmm. Why? What is this? 75% is this? cost and 75% cost. Okay, we'll just go with the Imperial Band. That's fine. I won't call in the Palatinate because I want him for the war with... Um, I want him for the war against um, France. Because we're definitely going to be going to war with France here. Um... So let's prepare for that. Get a couple more units over here. We can afford it. We are the emperor. There's no reason to not. Truce with England is over. Of course it is. There we go. 14, even when there is no internal peace within the empire. That's pretty strong right there. Oh, they're wiping out my little armies. You jerks. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, it's just these guys down here. So, yeah, I think we're good right here. Just have these guys protect. Look at this. They marched all the way around the Empire. <laughs> How you looking? A 4-3-3? Yeah. I'll, I'll help you out, I guess. Gonna end up needing to... Oh, there we go. We wiped them. Very good. Oh, they have a lot of men over here. Should be fine. We got our next ideas from both of them, both groups. The extra infantry combat ability would be really good. And we'll get it from finishing these trees through here. So let's do this. I'm okay with falling behind on Diplo. It's not a huge deal. Getting Miltech is going to be big, though. We'll be able to finally get our cannons. Which we can afford. So we should do it, right? So this is farmlands. That gives us an extra plus... One on the roll there, due to uh, the age of age of discovery bonus, so we get a plus one from terrain. Does it actually say right here? Oh, it just gives us the plus one straight up. There we go. Stack wipe all these boys because you have no right to live. And there you go, not bad. So he's lost twelve thousand, and I personally have lost eight. Well, oh, that counted those rebels that died. That I the men that died to rebels as well. So that doesn't really count as much. Trent, give me all your money. Goodbye, dude. You guys are not going to do this. They always take this one province, which sem this one province can s sink my entire economy, man. So what you guys are going to do is you're going to... Let's do that. Give one to the three leagues. We want to have as many tags as possible. Who's here? Donnaworth, huh? So let's make sure that these guys can't be a free city. Oh, they're actually a monarchy because I released them. Right. Okay. Right. Anybody that I release is going to be a monarchy. Unless they reform, which I don't think they'll willingly do that. Uh, let's go with the fort guy. Galray, huh? As long as he doesn't annex entire tags, I don't care as much. Clevs. Is this the one that he just took? No, it's a core of his. Yeah, I don't care about these two provinces. He can keep them. As long as Breda exists, that's what matters to me the most. Lose the prestige. Legitimacy is more important to me. Honestly, once I take this cap, his capital, he'll probably just peace out if I carpet siege him down a little bit. So it shouldn't be too bad. Definitely making progress here. Now the goal would be to keep internal peace and just push through as many reforms as possible. Come on now. There we go. Carpet siege him down. Because why not? AQ over here. Let's also piece out Ferrara, if at all possible. Once we take that province there, we can probably piece him out. Yeah, it's pretty close. Not quite close enough. No, not worth it. All right, so let's just pick that there. You will return those, and you will release Modena and Parma. Beautiful. More tags. They won't join the HRE, but uh, they would consider it, I'm sure. 
Saluzo. Let's improve with Saluzo, see if he wants to join the HRE. That would be good for us. Um, these guys are not going to be able to join the HRE. So here's the one I was talking about. If I would attack to attack him, France would join. Hmm, the Unholy Alliance. France is allied to a lot of people. So that's definitely going to be the way we're going to have to handle that. Who's at war over here, huh? These guys are at war. Provence, Provincial Conquest of who? Wait a minute. Oh, he's attacking him, who's in the HRE as well. All right, well, that's okay with me. Um, looks like... Okay, this this is actually fine. So what we need to do is we just need to get my guys on Black Flagged. Obviously, we need to get our Miltech here. Get a couple of cannons in our army. Ideally, we go for like... I think you need 10 to get plus five on a level two fort. So I think we can do 10, we can afford that. It's gonna be expensive, but uh, yeah, with our gold mines, we have two and we, we can dev up another one if we really need to. Speaking of, let's make sure we keep our inflation nice and low. I know I'm working on an admin group. It'll be fine. It is fine. All right, so what's our combat width? 24, so this is a fine group right here. Um, I know that I'll actually take you guys here. Do something like that. Get an extra cab in there instead. And then we'll get all the cannons in this stack. This third, and we'll have a 36 stack. And then this 13 stack will be for um, for backup. So we're going to beeline it for Paris. Siege him down. Because he doesn't have anything protecting Paris. We can walk right through here. Though this fort might produce a little bit of resistance. Which is fine. It's not a big deal. So wait for these cannons to pop up here. Boom. Let's get rid of you guys there and have you guys all group up here. Take a tick of attrition to assert our dominance. You guys know how it is. We have to take the attrition tick. Very important to me. Sealy wants an alliance, huh? So let's um, influence these guys and then I'll send them a gift and they should just join. This Imperial growth is pretty good. So there's six more, and we'll be able to get one, two, three, four in this war, and then the next war we'll be able to get that with him. So it should be good. So let's attack. And I'm hoping Palatinate won't join anymore because attitude towards enemies. Right. Saluzo will join. Well, let's see if I can get him to join the HRE first. If I get him up to like 150 or so, he should probably join, right? Only need to do the 25. There we go. And then... Um, Let's scornfully insult Genoa. Furthermore, I believe that Genoa must be destroyed. Now, he should join. I'll give him a couple of months here. I could ally him. Let's uh, take up the, the slot and ally him for a moment, just to see if he joins. Because once we attack, he's going to immediately hate me. Our general is dad, sadly. Get you over here. Help out with the attrition as well. Yeah, sadly, he's not joining. That's fine. So let's do this. Let's attack for Verdun. We will have him release these guys, these guys as a vassal because they're already a prince. And uh, we'll have to beat up on France, but I think we can manage. Especially if we have this big juicy stack here. Let's get over here and... Uh, like I said, these guys are back up. These guys are my siege stack. Let's see if I can get a better general. Oh, yes. Much better. Yes, please. And uh, I'll worry about Saxony and those guys later on. I'm not too too worried about it. Saluzo's in on the war in France. So here's our first, like, major war. Uh, though, I guess you could argue that the war with France was important as well. All right. So let's get these guys. Apparently, they can just march past that fort. I don't know why, but they can, and so I will do it. And I will barrage these walls. The sooner I can win a siege, the better. So these guys might be in trouble here, actually, because France is going to. France is very much willing to dogpile. He'll make a forty. He'll make. He will create a forty-seven thousand stack, and they will just run around. Yeah, they're coming for me. Got to keep these guys on their toes. Yep. Yeah, all right. Let's just run away with these guys and while we see just stack down here. 
Okay, this is fine. They're taking a bunch of attrition for no reason. This is fine. Are they going to beeline it for my capital? Looks like they might be. I mean, honestly, all I need is this province from him. So it's not a huge deal if... Um... Oh, come on now. And they're going to... Yep, there they go. All right, we have defensiveness on here already, which is good. I'm going to take my gold mine. So I'm going to end up taking out some loans. So let's preemptively go indebted to the burgers so we don't have to... So the reason why you do this... Gives me five loans that are only one uh, interest at the cost of 0.5 inflation and one mercantilism. Basically just one mercantilism. And the 5% trade efficiency means nothing to me. Um, because normally loans are 0.4. So it's definitely the move. Like it's definitely the correct the correct call here. 64%. Come on. Bro. Mm. Okay. Starting to get a little irritated. Give me that papal influence, baby. 78%er. Let's go. We cannot have my capital occupied. Let's scorch that province because it's woods and we're going to want to, uh, you know, do that. Let's keep these guys over here and uh, use them to slowly start sieging down pa France. Ooh, what in the world? Where are you guys going, huh? Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nani? Okay, zone of control. Absolutely jacking me up right now. Hopefully they get them off my capital. They... Are not progressing, which is good. Free money is good. Hey, hey, how about it? So I think this is the move. That that means we get the minus twenty percent, so we can attack and full annex er, and subjugate Brandenburg. We'll have to see how that goes. Because it looks like he integrated a bit of Pomerania. So let's pick our golden bowl here. Um. Dev cost and tolerance of heathens is fine. Mm-hmm. Official okay, so we'll never be able to use this one. The Imperial Growth Modifier is really good. Institution spread is not useful. Regiment drill. Unrest in Catholic provinces is nice, but we don't need that. Oh, I guess everybody, all Catholics will get it. That's just this one's fine, I guess. No big deal. Let's see if we can catch these guys here. We should be able to. They might even reinforce, which is fine, because I'll be able to also reinforce here. Oh, yeah. That was easy enough, huh? Let's pull these guys over here. See if they want to go back onto Verden. They got them off my capital, which is good. They're heading into here. Oh, no, they're not anymore. They changed their mind. They said nay. Which is fine. So we have the war goal. As long as we have the war goal and these guys prevent them from occupying my land, we should be fine. Uh, I reckon that we can probably beat the tar out of France here. We're gaining a lot of manpower. He's down a bit. Let's come on to Paris here. Let them lock in. There we go. Come over here. Yes, reinforce, please. Please reinforce. Please reinforce. Yes, they're taking so many casualties. This is really good for us. Come down here, wipe out this cannon stack. Why not? Oh, wait, they reinforced. Um, let's get over there. Oh, that's a win for us. Uh, definitely took more losses than was necessary there. But uh, I think we're okay. Let's get over to Paris, like I had said. Have these guys siege this down as well. Might as well. Let's siege down Paris ASAP. That's going to be a lot of war score for us. Yeah, generally, you'd be fortunate if... Um, what's his nuts? Uh, these guys joined the HRE, but no such luck today. Let's scorch Paris as well. The reason why you scorch it is because uh, it makes it 50% slower for them to get there. So, you know, it's just really good in general because it... Whoa, why do I have so many of these guys? Go with the Diplo rep. No reason not to. We are good. We are still gaining mandate or imperial growth quite quickly. I would like to come over here and wipe that army, but not so lucky. Improve relations and yearly legitimacy. Feels good, man. I like that. So 
So let's say cancel subject of Lorraine, release bar, and we have to occupy this Cambrissi or whatever. Hey, free Diplo. Sounds good to me. Yes, please. And then we'll be able to, after we occupy this, we'll be able to return this one as well. Looks like France is adding quite a bit of uh, enthusiasm to his thing with the relative strength of alliances. But uh, as long as we keep his capital occupied, we're good. Golden era for autos. Don't like to see that. I think we may take our golden era a little bit. We'll see. So, yeah, if I separate piece him, it's going to cost me Diplo. So if I do it through here, 66. It's expensive. It's quite expensive. Even more expensive that we can't win a siege. Feels bad, man. I got all these cannons. Scorch it in case they want to go on there. Yeah, I think we just have to uh, siege these guys down. That's that's really it, man. Hopefully, they're not going to make me... Eh, I might end up needing to occupy these provinces over here. It's not a big deal if I need to. Hey, wall breach. Natural. Feels good, man. They are on my capital, but it uh, looks like... Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> France is doing the whole... Well, I guess I might as well base race them, and they march their entire army over to my land. Feels bad, man. It's fine. Once we take this, we should be fine, because I'll be able to take these guys... Give me that freaking siege, man. France is on high enthusiasm still. At least we have some defensiveness over here. You got a disease outbreak. Feels good. I like that. A little bit of attrition. This is to assert our dominance. Very important. Water shortage. Very good. We should win the next one. I'd be surprised if we didn't. And war, ticking war score is going to be going up over time. So the longer this war goes on, the better for us. There we go. Now we head home. And uh, these guys over here will be our malevolent. You don't like to see that. Half off Inquisitor or admin points. I'll take the admin, please. Extra infantry combat ability is really strong. I would love that. Um, we are ahead on admin, so I will gladly do it as well. So let's get those guys off my capital. It's very important. If I get my capital siege done, I will flip my lid, probably. Plus we get the extra... Hey, they got off of it. Very good. Let's attack the... Hmm. It's weird that they're able to turn on a dime like that. There you go. Should be able to wipe this 11 stack. I'd be very surprised if we didn't. Yes, we did. Very good. 21 percenter. Hopefully they don't win it. Uh, they did not. Very good. Shift consolidate. So we have a full front row. Uh, just lose the prestige. And uh, France, that should be an easy clap. Hey, here we go. That is a stack wipe on the French. Very good. Love to see that. Lubeck annexed these guys. So, Lubeck, since you... Hmm. Really? Let me... Send him a gift here. Get my relations up a bit with him. Running a deficit. Yeah. Okay. Let's influence him. And then I should be able to have him give back... Ooh, either of them. He just annexed two princes? You son of a gun. Alright. We're pretty close. Like I said, we're gonna... Well, maybe it's in our best interest to just do this, do it this way. Yeah, I think that's actually it. It's worth the Diplo if it means that I don't have to worry about that anymore. So I'll just pay the Diplo for that. Basically, I just paid like 30 Diplo to return a core to the HRE. So that's fine. Uh, that means we'll return another four or three here. And then two more from these guys. That, that's all we need. Get you guys over here. No, no, uh, oh, he integrated him. Interesting. Well, <laughs> okay, well, you're also going to release Lorraine then. How about that, dude? 
Not bad. Salusa will probably just peace out, yeah. Not quite. Oh, one month, maybe. Maybe they will after their... Their war exhaustion ticks up. Yep, there you go. Go ahead and get on out of there. And, uh... Let's just send our cab over there. Our cannons, rather. The sooner we win this siege, the better. We'll be able to piece them out. Get more Imperial authority. Yeah, before he cores this. So which one would I rather have? I think I'd rather have... Oh, I guess it's only that one. And we need to do this while we're still um, Curia Controller. Being Curia Controller gives you minus 20 aggressive expansion, if you didn't know. It's incredibly powerful. So that's how we're going to do that. You're going to release him. You're also going to give me monies because screw you. Got to pay off my debt. There we go. I will repay four of my five loans. I will buy down my inflation. And... Uh, these guys don't have any allies that I care about, so this should be pretty easy then. Good episode, good episode. Alright, so... I suppose the question is, is do we want to vassalize Brandenburg? Or do I want to make sure that we are pushing truces through? I literally... I literally just released him. Really. There is no reason that you should be in this war. I literally released him and he instantly just declared war on him. So why wouldn't he accept peace? Desire for peace and fear of Bohemia, huh? All right, man. Well, time to uh time to get decked on then. You absolute jerk. Yeah, you better get out of there. So I thought Siege these guys down. Let's do something like this. There we go. And they peaced out. Very good. I joined and they were instantly like, mm, maybe I don't want any of this. <laughs> so we have 24 as our combat width. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come in and make a template of, uh, say, 20 and then let's go with 6 and then 10 artillery. That way we can set that there, and then that will detach the 36 stack there. All right. And I keep going back and forth on whether I want not I want to do this. If we're going to do it, we need to do it right now while we still have this plus Curia Controller. Curia Controller is a big one. Uh, 20, so that's 30% aggressive expansion reduction. I will not call anybody in because I don't need to. Ah... Just realized I accidentally did a conquest, which is fine. It's not a big deal. I'll have to have him return a couple of provinces. I'll actually just have him release these guys, and then that will be the piece. Because I didn't even click this mission. So it's fine. It's not actually a big deal. It just is a truce that we get with him now. Let's get uh, you guys out of there so we're not taking a bunch of attrition for no reason. And uh, just siege him down. All I all I want is for him to release Mecklenburg. Ooh, Rupin. Ooh. No, I don't want that want him to release Rupin, because I want Rupin as a Rupin? I want Rupin as a uh, core for the mission, so. Um, 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 um. Transfer subjects, huh? That would be a nice one to like yoink Norway or something. Probably not gonna happen, but I'll grab it nonetheless. No reason not to, right? Polish noble rebels, huh? Let's go fight them for them. There we go. All we need to do is siege his capital down and he'll give this, I guarantee you. Diplomana, please and thank you. Yeah, I'll royal marry you guys. I'll stay royal married. And there we go. So all I need to do is carpet siege him down and he will release the provinces. Easy game, right? 
Should be pretty straightforward then. He's on low enthusiasm. There we go. And I want a short truce of them. It's going to cost me 68 Diplo, but it releases a uh, guy. And it costs me zero uh, aggressive expansion. So it's all good. A little bit of a misplay, but it's not the end of the world. But I think that's a good place to call it for the episode. I hope you guys are enjoying. And uh, if you are, I would ask that you would please be an absolutely wonderful person. Share your support by leaving a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell. All that fun stuff. Um, and then if you want to check out what's going on over on the Patreon or support us there, it's going to be linked in the description below, as well as our Discord and our um, uh, my Twitter, if you want to follow me there. Try to be active, but, uh, you know, Twitter sucks, so I do what I can. Anyways, that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. A big special shout out to my top March patrons, Drunk Binary, Spartan Omega, Palmer, Bloodbound92, DeVos Sander, Angelic, F. Jensen, Fat Man on Deck, J. Eden, M. Dressel, Tharup, Blonde Damon, Corbett, Shankopotamus, T. Jarden, Bargain Glad, Natsuki, Disdain, Harry, Hey Murado, J. Cutchell, N. Winkler, RJ Pilot, Stoiler, Agent Rhino, Arcus, and Airborne Animal 7. There's many more and I couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you.